Okay, so I'll put this in the comments. The long-term effects of hallucinogens, persistent psychosis, visual disturbances, disorganized thinking, paranoia, mood disturbances, hallucinogen, persistent perception disorder, hallucinations, other visual disturbances, such as seeing halos or trails attached to moving object. Some symptom, symptoms sometimes mistaken for neurological disorders, such as stroke or brain tumor. Now, a lot of people will talk, will hear, you know, people talk about the New World Order and disassociation, disassociative disorders. A lot of people don't know that there's a class of drugs called disassociative drugs, again, drugabuse.gov. Laboratory studies suggest that disassociative drugs, including PCP, ketamine, and DXM, cause their effects by disrupting the actions of the brain chemical glutamate at certain types of receptors called N-methyl D-aspartate receptors on nerve cells throughout the brain. Glutamate plays a major role in cognition. Well, I was interrupted with somebody asking for my aunt. Anyway, um, glutamate plays a major role in cognition, including learning and memory, emotion, and the perception of pain. The latter via activation of pain regulating cells outside the brain. PCP also alters the action of dopamine, a neurotransmitter responsible for the euphoria and rush associated with many abused drugs. Okay. Um, salvia divonera is also one. It's nerve cells, etc. Short-term effects, um, anxiety, memory loss, impaired motor function, body tremors, numbness. High doses, hallucinations, memory loss, physical distress, including dangerous changes in blood pressure, heart rate, respiration, and body temperature. Marked psychological distress, including feelings of extreme panic, fear, anxiety, paranoia, invulnerability, exaggerated strength, and aggression. Uses with high dose of alcohol, okay, so on and so forth. Well, this is important because they're trying to get me to go back to drinking. Um, uh, uses with high doses of alcohol or other certain central nervous system depressants can lead to respiratory distress or arrest resulting in death. In low doses, numbness, disorientation, confusion, loss of coordination, dizziness, nausea, vomiting, changes in sensory perception, such as sight, sound, shapes, time, and body image, hallucinations, feelings of detachment from self and environment, uh, increase in blood pressure, heart rate, resp respiration, and body temperature. get everything from sedation to amnesia with these things. Long-term effects. Long-term effects of most disassociative drugs has been investigated systematically. Research shows that the repeated use of PCP can lead to tolerance and development of substance use disorder that includes a withdrawal of symptom, including craving for the drugs, headaches, and sweating. Um, other effects of PCP inc use includes persistent speech difficulty, memory loss, depression, suicidal thoughts, anxiety, and social withdrawal. It may persist for a year or more after chronic use stops. All right, so when you look at the effects of disassociative drugs, um, you see that They're consistent with the problems that I'm having. Um, I'm not hallucinating, don't hear voices, but this could easily, you know, come in the future. And I'm, I'm very, um, you know, I'm very saddened by everything that's going on. Um, they've, been, they've been drugging me with psych meds for over 20 years, on and off. Um, the longest would be maybe like a year at a time. And they've been covertly drugging me on and off for four years. Sorry, I'm actually interacting with somebody. Um, this, this video can wait. Uh, I apologize for typing. I hope it's not too annoying. Um, no, it's just like, gosh, you know, how could, how could they 
you know, justify this to themselves. You know, doing this to me is like when they did it to the Panthers, when they did it to King, you know, except for they didn't do the drugging. Um, you know, I was, I would have been such a positive force for this country, for this planet, you know, and now instead of being this, this one of this country's greatest um, prizes, you know, you know, most cherished uh, individuals historically, um, this country's greatest distress, excuse me, greatest um, dis disgrace. And it's sad, you know, because not only my revolutionary that's done great work in, the, in that area, you know, and should have been famous, but I'm the top martial artist and they drugged me, you know, they drugged me because they don't care. And when I see my life, I could have easily gone down the path of Darth Vader where you know, I'm the greatest at this ancient art. You know, the Jedi arts were kind of an ancient art. You know, there's a lot of parallels between the two. And I live in a society that didn't appreciate me. You know, they took my love away from me. Um, they, you know, they did all the psychological warfare to me, you know, on me. Um, I could have easily just went around killing people. No problem. I could easily outsmart people. I could have easily been a serial killer. I could easily just take it out on people, you know, but I didn't, you know, they're the serial killers, they're the mass murderers, I'm the guy who gave his life to fight for what was right. And so they're, you know, they, you gotta realize I'm somebody who works out every day and I'm suffering and, and I don't drink or smoke. I haven't uh, drank since May 5th, um, excuse me, it was, uh, it was May 6th, 2000. And nine, okay. You know, in a couple months it's going to be May sixth. You know, and it's 2016. That's seven years of alcohol free. I haven't smoked marijuana, you know, and coming up on two years. Okay, you know, it's really about a year and a half or something like that. But you know, and there's no reason I shouldn't be in great health. I may eat a bit of fast food, yes, but I eat a lot of salads and stuff like that. Every time I go to Carl's Jr., for instance, I get two side salads. You know, uh, I always, when I go shopping, I always get a salad. You know, I drink milk. I drink wa a lot of water. In fact, I got water right fucking here, you know. I drink some, a bit of soda, probably too much, yes, but I drink a lot of water. I drink milk. I drink juice. You know, uh, I don't eat that unhealthy, you know. Sometimes I eat Mexican food, but it's not really that bad for you. You know, why am I in such bad health? Why do I have high blood pressure? Why do I have an old man's blood pressure? You know, why do I have uh, irregular heartbeat? All these things are consistent with the disassociative drugs and their side effects. You know, how come when I'm talking about the most pertinent in uh, uh, um, um, uh, subjects, I get fucking called, you know, during interviews, I'm talking about this, the, the effects of disassociative drugs, I get called on the phone. Is Miranda there? What the fuck are you talking about? You know, she hasn't been here for a long fucking time. You know? And all they're ever going to say is, well, these are the effects of mental illness. Yeah, of course, because most mental illness is a result of drug use. So, of course, if you covertly fucking drug someone with disassociative drugs, you'll get what, exactly what the conspiracy theorists, quote unquote, have are saying about the New World Order. They're trying to get people to disassociate, you know, to have disassociative disorder, multiple personality disorder, which is a form of disassociative or disorder, where you are now a different person because you don't want, you're no longer, you know, you're no longer yourself. You're disassociated with your normal personality and you're someone else. That's what they want. They want me to act fucking crazy, to display, you know, extreme paranoia, extreme anxiety. They're trying different drugs. They're trying uh, cocktails of drugs, you know, and it's, you know, it's so taken its effect on my body, you know, and it's, they've sabotaged my life. I'm not saying don't do what I did, do what I did. Absolutely. There's no cost that is too high to serve God. 
Even if I knew I was going to be raped by an elephant every day for the rest of my life. You know, having fucking donkeys come on my face. You know, hung upside down by my toes and my genitals every fucking day. You know, <laughs> if that's going to be possible. Um, uh, you know, I would have still done what I did. You know, you're going to have cowards who say, well, he's the guy who got tortured and all this, you know. The same cowards would have said, well, you know, look how they mock Jesus. I don't want to end up like him. There are people who are cowards who look at stories such as mine, the Panthers, the, the disciples, the Christians, martyrs, and they say, well, you know, that's, a, that's a, a lesson, you know, as to why you shouldn't, you know, serve God or you shouldn't walk a higher path or you shouldn't live by morality. That's what they'll say. You know, I mean, they're just complete cowards. Don't you see? There is nothing that's happened to me that made it not worth it. You know? Your life is short. Life is short. The afterlife is never ending. You know? These people just fail to grasp that. And they know that when people believe in the afterlife, they're going to see it my way. So they say, you know what? Let's just get rid of that belief altogether. Let's, let's twist it. Let's either make them atheists or make them this new age kind of Luciferian bitch. By the way, I've ordered Morals and Dogma, and soon I will show you in the book, not from some site that says this page of the book, I will open up to the page where it says that they lie to the lower degrees and they intend to bring in the Luciferian doctor. In the book, I will turn it to I paid 14 fucking dollars, or 15 after tax, 15, 25 or something, just to show you from the book. I don't give a fuck about the book. I want to show you, show and prove. You know, and these people, because I expose their slatterns that worship Saturn, their queers and secret societies, their feminist movements, their, you know, all their controlled opposition bitches, because I expose them, they teamed up together to give me a hard time. You know, I mean, it's exactly what you'd expect. If you're a controlled opposition bitch and you didn't want it to get out, what would you do? You know, they can't kill everybody who talks like this. You know, or else it's going to be painfully obvious. You know, someone talks like this, the next day they get in an automobile accident. Next day they have a heart attack or blah, blah, blah. And like, people aren't that fucking stupid. So they have to come up with something else. You know, never, you know, when you're in the psych ward, you can't make videos. You can't talk to anybody but mental patients and doctors and nurses and shit. You know, and therapists. Institutionalized is, you know, an effective way to deal with political dissent. A lot of you don't, just don't get it. You know. I've been mistreated my whole life because I'm a political dissident. And if anyone has truly watched a lot of my videos, they know that. They know I come off as sincerely and legitimately upset. Not mentally ill. And anyone who's watched the videos of the Panthers and Martin Luther King and Malcolm X and Farrakhan, you can see that, yes, when people get upset, they, you know, when people talk about these things and they're, and they're you know, they're a righteous man. You know, they say it in a certain way. Sometimes they say it in a racist way. Sometimes they say it in a very angry, quote unquote, threatening way, aggressive way. You know, that is just what it means to be upset. It's what it means to have, be angry. You know, look up righteous indignation. Look it up. It's what it means. You know, fast speech is part of the symptoms of normal anger, healthy anger. And these people, they've taken my son, they've put me in the psych ward. You, I have videos showing the, me and the outpatient suffering from psychiatric abuse. You can tell my face is almost white and pale. I'm sitting there like dying. What, what do you need? You know, f you know, need to be foaming at the fucking mouth and my eyes fucking just bulging out of my head. Like, what, what, is, what does it take for you people to get it? You know? They've made me suffer from my political views. And in mental health, it's all the spiritual bottom figures. I didn't just start talking to, to about them after they did this to me. I was talking about how they're a bunch of godless heathens that twist reality, how they're a bunch of occultists, how they're secret societies that twist everything. You know, back in 2009. And magically, after not being in the psych ward for almost 10 years, magically I started talking about secret societies. Boom! Back to the fucking psych ward. Within a couple years of me making video. As soon as I start talking about psychiatry, back to the psych ward. Then I started making the psychiatry series. I was in my Illuminati series talking about psychiatry. They sent me back. Oh, now I'm making psychiatry as a fraud. A 2011 series. 
when I get out in like a, a march or something. You know? I've been mistreated, man. My spiritual bottom feeders. And they cannot tell anyone ever that they're on the people's side. They cannot tell anyone ever that they produce the top martial artists in history or even during their time. They just can't. They're, they're cowards. They're weaks. They're, they're weak. They're effeminate. They're, they're, they're simps. The top martial artist is me. And when I die, that's it. There is no saying anyone's better because they were covertly drugging me. So you have to add another one and a half times my skill to the, the, my skill that I uh, displayed, which will bring me beyond the point of nat human ability, really. You know, I would have redefined, I set the bar. You know, it's beyond the point of human ability without God. God chose me to be the top martial artist in American history and to do it in a way that no insightful mind could ever argue or try to downplay ever again. 